This is the solution to written homework 71. Okay, so we're given this function. Mm, plot this function uh, at those points and hint it's a transformed version of the square root function. Okay, fine. So if you plug in negative five, that's negative five plus five is zero, so square root of zero, zero minus three is negative three. So negative five, negative three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. If you plug in negative four, then you'll go up one. <coughs> if you plug in negative one, so negative one mm, plus five is four. The square root of that is two minus three is uh, negative one. So negative one, negative one. <coughs> if you plug in four, uh, four plus five is nine, and square root of nine is three, minus three is zero. So you plug in uh, four. So one, two, three, four, so here. <coughs> okay, so the function something like that. <clears throat> okay, plot the inverse. So to plot the inverse, so that's uh, y is x. To plot the inverse, <coughs> we need to reflect all these points. Well, this point reflects to itself, this one to here, mm, to there, yeah. So, yes, and then this one to here. And this one is uh, 4, 0, so it goes to 0, 4. So the reflected plot is like that. So you can see, aside from the color, you can see the symmetry. <coughs> so now find the formula for F inverse and its domain. Okay, <clears throat> so for C, um, we'll take that, we'll write y is square root x plus 5 minus 3. Swap the variables. So x is square root y plus 5 minus 3. Notably, remember that this swap of variables is reflection. <clears throat> okay, so now we want to solve for y. So solving for y will add 3 to both sides, so x plus 3 <clears throat> is square root y plus 5. Now we'll square both sides. So x plus 3 squared is y plus 5. And then subtract 5 from both sides. So x plus 3 squared minus 5 <coughs> is equal to y. And therefore we know that the inverse function is this. <clears throat> so x plus 3 squared minus 5. Now this expression by itself, if it were just taken with no context whatsoever, its domain is all x's and it would be a parabola. However, 
the domain of this expression, it has domain everywhere that there's red. So notably, there's no red over here. So this is not part of the domain. The domain is from x is 3 onward. So that is to say x is negative 3 onward. So this has domain <coughs> negative 3 to infinity. Of course, the reason why <coughs> uh, that must be the domain is because The original function <coughs> has range negative 3 to infinity.